made it to Rome. This is our little room. That's the girl's bed and then that's mine because I like to kick when I sleep. <laughs> um, this is our little mirror. We have not had any mirrors. <laughs> Pretty much any mirrors in any that we've stayed in. So this is perfect. It's very cute and very like it, the walls are really large it feels like very very spacious very luxe, hey. it's at the little queenie queen little, little queen. queen yeah little queen. we've been calling it little queenie when we walked in it was kind of like no it was giving like murder I die. murder vibes but it's really really nice we were all pleasantly shocked and that's somewhere we can hang our stuff. After we finished settling in, we decided to head to this restaurant that was across the road from our accommodation. And then we decided to finally hit the streets and start exploring Rome. There's something about Rome that just transports you back in time. I don't know whether it's the architecture or just the culture in itself that makes you feel like you're living in a piece of history. The girls decided that they wanted to head to the designer district, so we headed to Prada and then finally got to have dinner. The food from this place was so cheap and it was honestly incredible. It's Kiralee's birthday today and we ordered this breakfast from the place we're staying at, Little Queen. They didn't go light, did they? They did not go light. They had like a sheet and it was like $8. To start off Kiralee's birthday celebrations, we decided to book a cooking class right next to the Trevi Fountain and it was honestly the best experience ever. Although I had made pasta before with my mum, this was just so much fun learning the history and being taught how to make different pastas. Once you're finished, they package the pasta up for you, but because we didn't have a kitchen, we didn't keep the pasta and gave it to our teacher to give to her roommate. And then we got to make tiramisu and we had a free meal at the end, but definitely next time I will book somewhere with an Airbnb so I can cook it myself. And finally, we got to actually see the Fontana di Trevi. It's so beautiful and a masterpiece in itself. This was my first time experiencing the Piazza di Spagna and it was so beautiful. The girls decided to go designer shopping, which is right next to the piazza and I decided to go home. Okay, so I lost my camera all day, but we're here now. I'm trying the Fenty lip stain. Yeah, um, I think I like it. But this is the outfit. I need, I, it really does I burnt the side of my face today with a curl on the ground. Bump, I'll see you right later. Yeah. These girls have been trying to open this for the past 10 minutes. No, thank you. Can you take this to the The Yum. And then we have um, biscotti and a succo di nas. Okay, so the girls have gone designer shopping today again. Yesterday we went and Kiralee wanted to buy something but it wasn't available. So she's gone to go to Fendi. But I can't really afford any of that so I don't want to go for the walk. So I'm currently in my room just trying to organize everything because we leave tomorrow. Today's our last day in Europe and it's so freaking sad, but I'm so excited because next year I'm gonna come back and it's just cool to experience traveling again because we haven't done it in so long. And I'm just so excited. But Rome is literally the noisiest city ever. I haven't really vlogged this trip and I feel really slack, but at the same time, like it's so hard like vlogging and then doing TikTok and Instagram and like whipping out all these different cameras. So I found it really diff difficult to keep up. I've tried to do like the style of the vlog a little bit differently, just a little bit more of experience everything and visually showing everything. I love like talking on the camera, but at the same time, like whenever I watch a video, I'm always drawn to them like 
if they're showing everything and they're talking behind and all that kind of stuff it's just like a little bit more calming so I think that's what I'm trying to do with all these videos I haven't started editing any of them and I don't know when they're going to come out or if they're going to come out but it's just been fun it's been fun doing this usually I'll professionally film everything on my camera and edit in like a really cinematic way and this time because I've got such a bad neck I couldn't be bothered to carry around the camera everywhere and risk getting like a sore neck and complaining for the whole trip but it has not been sore but last night the girls went clubbing and I stayed home just because I just didn't feel like it I I don't know I just for some reason yesterday I just wasn't feeling it and like recently like along this trip although I'm having like the best time in the world I'm still feeling a little bit shitty and I don't know why. I took the opportunity to call my mum, call my dad and catch up with everyone and edit some stuff and then I just passed out. Usually I cannot sleep by myself at all. I struggled in Puglia. I got like three hours sleep each night because I was so anxious because I was in a room by myself and I actually just passed out and I'm so freaking proud of myself. Anyways, so today we're just doing some shopping. We might go to the Colosseum. The girls were a little bit too tired to go to the Vatican today. So we ended up cancelling our booking. Um, no refund. No. So we may go near the Colosseum. I feel like everyone will be too tired to go. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a chill day. Organising everything before we go. I'm like semi-packed. I've tried to keep everything really clean. Um... So then I don't have to worry about it tomorrow morning. I have like my clothes that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow along with all of that shit on the ground. But this is my little bed. I've slept on the sofa bed pretty much the whole entire trip. It's fine. I'm the smallest person. So it's like the most, you know, like it's just, it makes sense. That's the bed that the girls are sleeping in. The pillows here are not that great. They are not hard. I love a good hard pillow. I use a memory foam at home and I think maybe that's why I've got such a sore neck because my neck is just not being supported. This is everyone's room. This is the reality of traveling. Just mess, pure mess, especially like traveling with girls. Like when I was with my family, when we used to travel Europe, it was not like that because we had my dad and my sibling and my mom and like, we just, we didn't bring like makeup and all that kind of stuff. So it was, I was a little bit more cleaner. This is our bathroom and it's been kept pretty manageable. And I can't believe the trip is already done and we're going home tomorrow. It's, that's insane to me. It flew so fast, but at the same time, I feel like it's gone slow. So I don't know, but I feel like this is the most that I've vlogged this whole entire trip and the most I've talked to everyone. But I think like one thing that I'm like, very happy that I've done throughout the trip. Especially going overseas with two girls that you've only ever met a couple of times. Something I really appreciated is taking time to myself. I think traveling with friends and even like traveling with family, like you are like together all the time and more than you usually would be. So I think like something that's really important when you're traveling with people and one of my friends like told me this as well, take time to yourself. Just en like enjoy it, go for like a walk, just take some space so you're not like constantly surrounded by people i have actually not bought anything this trip i bought like some makeup and that's all no clothes and i was expecting to come home with like bucket loads of clothes and all that i think like i've built like a timeless capture wardrobe and it's kind of like where like where do i go from here like i what do i add to this which saves me money but i was like hoping that i would get like an italian piece or something from paris that would be like nice but we just haven't really been shopping in like places that I can like either afford or just like going to like somewhere like Zara and I'm trying not to shop from places like Zara just because it's like fast fashion but I don't know but yeah I'm I'm gonna go clean the rest of my stuff up and maybe go to a leather shop like a 60 euro leather shop Once I was ready, I met the girls at the most incredible gelateria and it was so amazing. I talk about this all the time, but surprise, surprise, we went shopping, but there was nothing really for petite girls, so I didn't really buy anything. Determined to experience some kind of touristy thing in Rome, I dragged Kira Lee along with me to the more historical area, but we got a little bit distracted and ended up just grabbing lunch. Okay, so I ended up getting two bags. I will show you guys later, but we are going back shopping. We went for a walk this morning, but Kiralee and I both have very, very sore feet. But we're going shopping now, and then I think we're gonna, well, no. 
Bellissimo. Bellissimo. So, we're going now to the shop and then I think we're going to go have dinner at near the Coliseum. See you on the other side of the city. So, very, very excited to actually do something touristy, something that identifies it being in Rome. Kirillia is twerking in the back, I've got to go. I don't know whether it's because this was our last night in Rome or whether there was something in the air, but this was such a fun night. I savored my last experience with authentic Italian food, knowing that once I come home, I would never look at Italian food in Australia again. This area was our base, our meeting point. We were staying right near here. It was only right to finish our last night here. Kira Lee put on a very fun performance for the people of Rome, and in some way, it summarized our trip. When we decided to head home, it was time to pack. We were avoiding this all day and there was something so bittersweet about packing to go home. This trip had gone so fast and I couldn't believe that it was already over. I just finished packing my bag. It only took an hour. Kirli is let to get to start. Hey Dal. Alex has just started. So exciting. Our room is stunned. My mess was like way worse than everyone else's before. That's all right. Woo, what time is it now? Give us a time check. 10.43. 10.43. Alex is clearly very busy. <laughs> just had a little cry. Um, a little bit emotional. Not about leaving, just and about some other things, but th this is how you know that your skin is heavily involved with your emotions because my skin was so good before and now I've just got this massive red rash around here all red dots all along here like it's actually insane how like in the period of five minutes my skin's just drastically changed it's just I just wanted to say that like it's normal to feel sad when you're on holidays like it's not don't feel guilty like if you're upset while you're on holidays because I I was sitting there a couple of days ago because I was crying about something and I just like I was like I feel so guilty because I like, am on this beautiful holiday and I'm having so much fun and I'm crying, like I'm in my room crying. And I think I just had to remind myself that, like, you're still gonna be emotional, like your emotions are not gonna change just because you're on holiday. Like, yes, you'll be more stimulated and yes, you'll be like excited because you're on holiday and it's so exciting and so much fun. But like, you're still gonna have those emotions there. Like you can't just like run from them. Like they're still gonna be there. And I think on this trip, I've been triggered by like certain little things. I think it's just normal. It's just a normal feeling. Determined to not let these feelings ruin my final morning in Rome, I picked myself up and headed to get some breakfast. Of course, I had to go to the same place. It was right near where we were staying and it was honestly amazing. But the girls went designer shopping again, so I actually spent this morning alone. And it was honestly one of my favorite experiences of the trip. And I was so proud of myself for not just wasting away and letting my emotions consume me. But I was determined to experience some kind
kind of touristy thing in Rome. So I actually walked to the Colosseum. It was a 30 minute walk there and back, but oh my goodness, I just love ancient history. I studied Roman history in school and it's just my favorite thing ever. This was definitely my favorite bit of Rome. And finally, we headed to the airport for what was going to be a 40 hour travel day for me. Our first leg was Rome to Dubai. We got there at 2am, it was a 6 hour stopover and unfortunately we had to say goodbye to Kira Lee. And then there was two, Alex and I had to get from Dubai to Bangkok for another 6 hour stopover. But landing in Bangkok to this view was so cool. We had lunch and we had a massage and then went from Bangkok to Sydney. When we arrived in Sydney we were greeted to this beautiful sunrise welcoming us home but sadly this is the end of our vlog. But I'll see you again soon for Europe 2023.